Nice uh, playing up against uh, up against wonderful. So it could be could be some some fire in the server here. We're going to find out. It'll be Ents starting on that T side with Navi on the CT side. I haven't been this intrigued about a Counter Strike game <laughs> in some time. The fact that it's Anubis is really exciting for me. Let's get into it though. Wonderful patrolling towards that dark room here. In terms of the T buy, they've got one smoke, a single flashbang, and a P250 in the hands of Nerds, known to be a bit of a menace with that pistol. As JL plays a more defensive angle, there is going to be a lot of pressure towards middle. Oof. That's a good way to kick things off. He got away with it somehow, just throwing a couple of bullets through. Shots, oh, some highs. He's able to see through. That's great use of that smoke mechanic. We'll talk about it just on the desk now. d is going to be taking down Alexi. It's a three versus three. Yo. JL, he's ready for more. He's looking for one more headshot. Oh. And he'll get it. <laughs> the leaks glaive from the server and leaves d in a one versus three. No bomb plant here. We've talked about it so many times, how important it is to be in the pistol round to get the bomb. And wonderful, that AWP glaive. Oh, down he goes. That's the in-game leader luck. That didn't really work out for them. Now they're going to be ready towards A. This is uh, quite telegraphed. Yes, you're right. Especially with the time that's left once the grenades are coming in. You know what's coming next. Some counter flashes are coming out, I believe. But Bit still going to get traded. That's actually an important kill for Deha. Might be opening up for a bomb plant. Smoke is up towards Cam, so and they're going to re-smoke it. That's a brilliant grenade. That yeah. should buy a little bit of time. Okay, then. We've got the bomb planted. Sure, it's a four versus three, but they have got the skill to win these sort of rounds. These are the players you want to live in this sort of situation. JL, getting boosted behind the smoke here. The bomb ticking at some pace. And of course, they do have a kit, but it's on the back of Alexi B. They're waiting for Imma to arrive in towards A main. Then the retake will be initiated. Nice shot from d -high. Keeps it going. Looking for a third part. It's JL and Imma combining for a little bit. And Sunpai is on his own. Good headshot as he takes down Imma and leaves JL on the other side. And he's playing for time. Nice. He's smart. It's everything you should have done. Ooh. Okay, then. It's down to some pies. As we mentioned, Anders, like, he was one of the, the few players that looked himself of Na'Vi. Fast pacing behind this one, though. It's going to be JL to defend. It's a nice opening frag from Madden. Here we go. Ents. Starting to wake up here. Yes, and if you're going to have the Mac 10, that's how you want to use it. I'd love a reload out of Madden, though. He's in the middle still, just looking for somebody to maybe pounce on him. Smoke set up, but you can look right over that, and Deha will. Good kill on this, to Bit. This is amazing. This what is a what, great start. This is what Deha is known for, working the A main position. He's a one-man army in that spot, so even though, sure, like you got an in-game leader not very experienced on the map, this was one of Ents' absolute best uh, in their pool over the last year. So, yes, we know they can play it. Like We know they have the philosophies here. I think this, the team is, uh, of course, with the, the rumors flying around and the fact they've got a new in-game leader, the... You might not yeah. necessarily believe in compared to Snappy system. I'm not sure. Um, but this is looking much better. That, that was a, a nice, fast approach there. They're taking advantage of the fact they had that MAC-10. JL goes down, and there's no choice but for Na'Vi to save their weapons. Three of them, to be exact. Wonderful. It's Orp, Alexi B, and Imma with M4s, and a decent utility belt as well. Going to be recovering as much as they possibly can here, but uh, nice work from Ents. That's how we like to do it. It's Glaive with the Galil. A brave peek to take. Very, very exposed this, in this position. Oh. Yeah. Defensive smoke deployed. 30 seconds. And it will be a B finish. There's Deha opening things up. Yeah, doing a great job. He will get traded right away. We're down to 25 seconds. So there's not a lot more to guess here. They are going to be going for the B bomb site. And they need to do it quickly here to try and secure the site and get the bomb planted. Imma going to be taking down Nerds. That's on the one side. Oh, Grenade amazing. going up and it lands right on top of Madden. Wonderful landing a shot. And it's 10 seconds now to try and find this bomb plant. San Pius, he's in a little bit of trouble here. He's trying to use the Molotov, but nice it's a scale. great play for JL. He sacrifices himself nearly. He does live, but... A little bit willing to challenge d -Hi. Even after going down the previous round, this time gets the better of him. This time it's Na'Vi with the opening frag. Great follow-up smoke as well. Nerds can do nothing about it. There's no way you can push that. Some pious with the AWP though. One of the absolute masters with this weapon. I'm kind of happy to see Bit try and do that because I was really disappointed in him yesterday. I thought he, he didn't, yeah. you know, really live up to the hype at all. And we know he's a really strong player, but it just didn't seem like he was feeling it that much. So yeah, sometimes maybe just try and let yourself loose a little bit and get some fights in there to recover a little bit of confidence in that sense. Looks like they want to try and see if they can breach the main of the bomb site. He's sneaky here in his Madden. And that's a nice Ooh, entry. Okay. A double kill taking down Alexi and Imma both. And they're going to get the bomb plant behind it. That is a sick round for Madden so far. That nade might catch him. Not quite. Just trying to blow open the smoke here. And it's going to be a four versus three. Might even initiate the save already. Nerds is on the hunt. He's on the lurk. 
Player available towards middle. Wonderful here at Temple. That's a guaranteed frag. He did turn. Could have been a bit of a disaster there for Nerds, but I don't think the round's back on necessarily. Three versus two. I think it's going to let this one slip by the wayside. Recovering the AWP. They've got an AK-47 as well. That's all down to Madden. And as he just hits them with the perfect 90-degree flick up towards that platform after finding the initial entry. Really nice step. You can see a bit of a sigh of relief there. He's just like, yeah, well, we got it over the line. And keeping it close. We'll let them cook as the Deagle is challenged and it's rising to the occasion. Imma with the first trying to recover the rifle. What a rifle it is as well. AK-47 didn't take any damage for his troubles. So they've got the opening kill and now another rifle in the ranks. That's going to be a second AK-47. JL has had a fantastic showing, but uh, this mid position has been up and down for him. It's going to be Glaive to challenge next. And does he have the presence of mine to detect him on the other side. Now, Glaive has the advantage. He's seen the barrel landers. Yeah, he definitely knows it, and he's going to be good for it. That's a nice uh, nice bit of timing there. Like you said, seeing the gun barrel, plenty enough to get that done. Back into a four versus four. The bit is showing up. Probably feeling quite confident that he could outdo Glaive. He should be feeling confident. Not quite going to go searching for him, though. Under 50 seconds. Nerds is one and seven, and he looked a bit desperate trying to push that smoke there against the Deagle. Did get him killed early in the round. Bit is going to win that fight and trying to push through. Like you said, he are a bit of an expert at that position, but the flash came in right after he died. So okay. I don't know if some mistiming there. Madden looks fired up in more ways than one, but especially in the fragging department here at the B bomb site. As he hits an absolute fantastic shot once again. That's another double kill. Bomb could be planted here. He's brought it right back into a two-on-two. -two. Next frag is incredibly important. Who will be getting it? It's Madden with the hat trick as he looks to close up the round. Wonderful on the retake with the AWP. Doesn't look promising at all. He is cooking in this round, isn't he? A triple in this one. He had the double opening in the previous round. Now, wonderful to try and see if he could do anything at all. He doesn't have a kit on him either, so it's going to be really quick. What a shot to take down some pyres. And he has to do this right now. He has to run in and find him. Otherwise, he's going to run out of time. Oh! He gets the shot. Set piece, if you want to call it that. Yeah, that's all they can do. They're, they're juggling the utility around. Some pyres can smoke heaven. He can double flash. Okay, we're doing the electronic smokes. So, once you do this, there's just not going to be that much follow-up utility. The bomb might get planted. It might get some good trades here, but how do you hold them off? So there's the smoke. Here comes the flash. It doesn't catch bits. Oh, that's oh. a devastating smoke. Got to go for it. You have to. There's no time. Absolutely no time, and they have no control on the other side because the CT's already pushed out of the B-bomb side, so oh, they know what's they, coming. They're Grenade. Getting, they're getting wrecked. What a Molotov. How did it bounce? Like, I need a slow motion of that. What did it hit to bounce into the air? I think this sort of round, when you have no utility, you can't just say we're going to do one smoking towards A with 30 seconds left and flash in. I just don't think that's, that's ever going to be an idea. You need to come up with something like a pocket strat at that point. He's really. in the mix. Next maneuver coming through. Bit takes quite a significant grenade. Spam damage coming through as Madden. He's been the sledgehammer of this map so far, using brute force to make their way in towards the bomb sites. Smoke down towards camera. And wonderful defending A main here. He made his backup. Battered and bruised his bits. And a miss shot. A rare miss from Wonderful. We normally say those are the kind of shots yeah. he always delivers on, right? That really creates a big opportunity right now. They still have the double stack going on at the bomb site. And in the middle, Alexi's holding, but a good trade for Sun Pius. He was the one getting spammed down through the doors earlier, so potentially a dangerous fight for him to take there, but they are going to bring the bomb towards the B-bomb site. It's wide open at the moment, so probably going to be fine to get the bomb planted. Whether or not they can defend it, it's a little bit of a different matter. Nuts and Glaive back there, and they're going to go for it. Don't have any real needs to slow down the incoming retake. Well then, Nuts, this one's on you. They have four kills between them, Henry. Oh, I feel like Nuts can deliver. Good grenade. Pitts taking so much damage via utility this round. Finally, he gets dropped. JL with the trade. And now Glaive, if you can pull this one off, it might save the day. They need this round desperately. First kill comes through, but JL, yeah, he's not going to miss that sort of trade. He said Diha knows he has to take matters into his own hands. He's taking yeah. those jewels. Uh, this is a good response, though. I like this call from Enz. You know you've got them weak towards A. Let's start pressuring in towards middle. Madden, this time not finding the same sort of success. Final round of the half here, Anders. Four on three, but Nerds did have the advantage and will maintain it. Yeah, they're so deep in towards CT spawn. It's bomb down. really hard to stop. That is the bomb, you're right. Am I able to get that kill? But finally, too many angles for him to hold, really, and Glaive will take him down. Two versus two. A lot of noise being made on the other side here. Nerds going to be able to pick up the kill onto JL. 
leaving Bit on his own. He's been playing a pretty good game, him and Wonderful in jail. I guess Imra's up there as well, in fact. 8-4 to four scoreline. It could be could happening. Be. We wanted 8-4 to four the other way. We wanted Ends to get 8 rounds just to sort of have a Give reasonable a shot at it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I don't know, this should be their round. Of course, it's the last one. Bit's going to be going for it, and he's got to deal with Glaive first. And it doesn't look like he'll be checking his position, so I think we might be done here. JL going to try and see if he could do it, but that's half the arm of the attack here. That might just be wiped out. They're going to get some grenades down. A little bit of a flashbang hit up. JL, you know what? Fair play. He did get the kill. Glaive at the back. Nice headshot at range, and Bit will take down Nerds. It's still a three versus three. Even if Bit is a little bit low Ooh. on health, he's going to keep it going. He's stolen the duelies in the meantime, and that should open up for a bomb plant. They don't even have to stay at B, but they are going to maintain this position. A fake plant comes in from Imma. The smoke going to be dissipating at this stage as he finds the an ultimate frag. It's up to D-Hap, and the pits are taking up Rico here. They've got to take the partial by at the very least. Eagles, Kevlar, as Na'Vi are hunting for map point. Bear in mind, it is Ancient next, but Enz did play that map yesterday against Cloud9. And as you know, the score was? Tell me. 13-4 in favor of Cloud9. So, yeah. in terms of like, sure, it's, it's their, where they got it's their on pick. By, <laughs> yeah, by they, got, they got boomage, for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, it doesn't bode well, but let's see. Maybe they can find something here. This team is fantastically skilled. The individuals are off the charts and it's... Yeah, there's no, there's no question about that. But, you know, they all, they all sort of have to believe in the project and they all have to, you know, they all have to come together as a team. And they've been thrown in here with absolutely no, like, no time to put anything together. It's, um, it's not an easy problem to solve. That's in a way why it would be it would be so sick if it, if they did solve it and they have just no time at all to do it with right this is an elimination game so it's on this map or the next that's that's it or the year is going to be done for them bit putting some pressure on here the deagles not connecting on the ct side they're not doing any damage on this one hunted down inside of the bomb side is sun pious and it's going to be just don't get completely blown out wouldn't that be cool it actually would be for this series, I think. We need him to uh, have some signs of life. Very fast call coming in from the likes of Na'Vi. Bits with a show-stopping entry, but it will be some pies to react. 4-4 four and four still does technically favor the T side, but the Lexi B taking more and more ground. Let's go for the early plant. Needs to be careful. The smoke has popped open, and Madden chomping at the bit to get involved. Some pies going to be careful as well. He's got, I think, double grenaded so far. Speaking of nades, that's a nice one. And some pies, good for another kill. Takes down, wonderful. Alexi fighting for his life, and he's not going to be living very long. But JL, what an incredible turnaround. Takes down Glavis and pies. And no this to see around. them like this, right? No, but no one's enjoying it in that nope. sense, right? You want to see... The miracle story of Ents sort of putting it together right in front of our eyes, but oh. it's not going to be easy. Emma, oh my god, headshots oh, no. all across the board, three <laughs> kills! And it's Sun Pius left alone. They've been decimated in the middle. Oh, what can you say about that one? Just... <laughs> They've been obliterated. Blown up. Destroyed. Wrecked. Whatever you want to call it, it that happened. They didn't even fire off a bullet, I don't think. So whatever call they were going for, that mid-split... Um, some pies is just like, boys, did everyone get disconnected from the server? What, what just went down? No real damage inflicted, might as well just I mean, throw a smoke. If you can get a bomb plant out of this, I guess that would be something, but the bomb's down. What's so sick, if you look at the little Jeez. X's on the minimap about where they died, is they're actually pincering the middle, right? So yeah. all of the pressure is supposed to be on the CTs in that moment. It's very hard, right? You're, you're sort of flicking left and right, trying to make sure you're not getting shot at the back at any moment, but... Emma just comes up with three headshots. Bit in there to help him out. They should like just run him. Don't let him get any kills. Don't even kill him. Run that clock down so he gets no money. Oh. That would be the play right now. If you really wanted to put your foot on the throat of Ents, yeah. you um, bleed out some pious, but uh, it looks like he will be, okay, farming money instead. Like, now that's not bad, actually. The fact he's got himself $600 does set them up for the future somewhat. It wasn't just a complete whitewash here. Maybe he can still do something with it. There's only 15 seconds. In the right spot. I, say, I didn't think that gap existed anymore. He was just trying to look for it. I think they changed that. Yeah. Well, he gave it up pretty quickly, so probably remembered in the moment. Oh, there's a bit of a jump, and 
Ima, good for the kill. Nice nades. Nice. A lot of damage on the other side. Two of the the grenade, like you talked about, taking down Madden. Two versus three, a burst, and a okay. long fight for JL. He almost came out on top. Yeah, that will take you, though. It's a two on two. It's winnable for NC. It's going to be hard still with some pious being the, the walking dead. Four HP. Nerds will have to do the heavy lifting here. They've got a single smoke between them, and if against the MP9s, that, that could actually be a bit of a problem here. Alexi B, he will be guaranteed that first kill on Cave if some pious peaks. 25 seconds remaining. CTs. Sega, it'll be a nice 1v1 if they can trade him out, but this is a guaranteed frag for Alexi. Yeah, it really will be. Some highs going down, leaving nuts. An unenviable position. Ten he seconds. can do this. this he can do it. Problem. He just needs the kill. Yeah, but Wonderful's getting kind of close as well. He has to get the swing in. He, he can't even fade the bomb anymore. He's out of time. He's lost the round here. As long as they stay away, <laughs> they're getting a bit close. Oh. Round number five is, is in, Henry. We've got it. Still, no AWPs in play. If we could really afford them. No, certainly not. Nerds will have to make do with the Galil. You can see this kind of a lot looser now. Madden just trying yes. to help himself to some opening kills when they're lining up. JL will be more than happy to oblige as he knocks them down. That's two opening frags with no real damage inflicted. And now Glaive. It's not making me feel like he's going to find a lot of damage here. No, there's the third, and you can see there's no trade potential. There's, the spacing's bad, like, the, the wheels are falling off. I, mean, I think they already did. <laughs> uh, that's just a, a loose call, so I'm just going to do a contact playing towards being killed them. And I do kind of, I mean, I, I actually do like it, because again, the... There's, just, there's no smoke deployed, Andrew. It's like long yeah. smoke, right? So, of that course it's going to happen. How, you can't even, you can't check every position. You've seen one towards cave, you're just going, right, I'm just going to have to try and kill him. If you're not smoking or flashing at all, like, it just suggests someone's just called, I'm going to go and try and kill here. And it's like, yeah. they're not coordinated at all. Well, to be honest, that's what won them some of the rounds on a, on Anubis. Sure, but like Madden can't do this by himself. No, he can't. They they need Glaive to step up, like, and actually bring some calls to the tables. What what was that? Yeah, I think the a, a deep Molotov or two like, there would have. Jo can't made believe his luck. He just got three kills with no one looking at him. Yeah. It's <laughs> under pressure. Then let me yes, just remind I'm you. I'm very aware of the gravitas of this situation. <laughs> Emil will oh. find the opening kill. It's five zero. Okay, I, I was giving them. That's brutal. That's giving them a bit of space so in terms of it being the, the early stages here, but these T sides are going from bad to worse. Mm. Bit up on the ledge. We'll dismount for now. Good incendiary to just defuse the situation for a second. Do you like to play under pressure? Uh, yes. Okay, well, you're about to lose, so go win is basically what he said. Um, I just had it in the call. At least like, your parents are watching I and they're disappointed. At least they're quite jovial. <laughs> these are not like snapping at each other, you know? Like, at least there's that. Right. I don't know what else you're supposed to do. This is so rough. Um, four on five on this one. Glaive Glaive's is the only one finding the openers, to be fair. Yeah. But even look, look at the kills. I mean, they, they have the top fragger is, is Glaive with three and, and Nurts with three. They're not doing anything in terms of that output. All right, they can win this round, Anders. In terms of like, all jokes aside, they can, they can actually make this one work. The thing is, they've heard the scope clip of some pies there. So they're on high alert, Alexa B especially. Time is of the essence. They've got 30 seconds. Vault making his word towards B ramp. Some Pies has to commit soon, and I think he just gets dropped because he'll have to commit. Alexi should find him, no problem. JL continues to show his fantastic form. Madden's got something to speak of here as he goes towards long. But where is that bomb? It's down. 20 now. There's the frag he needed. It's a three versus two. Still possible. Glaive needs to find this kill. Madden, he's a bit of a clutch master, but doesn't get the bomb planted here. That makes things very uncomfortable. Has to just go for the plant. One player can be sacrificed to try and challenge him. That's going to be Alexi. Let him bleed him out, boys marks right now that they're not enjoying themselves at the tournament uh, that's evident from the body language that uh, the results are getting worse uh, i think just get him out of there I don't, I don't think i want to see a third map if they somehow had a miracle run now on every single round I don't, I don't think i'd want to see it it's so tough isn't it you it, this it's obviously super uninspiring like this, this, this t sides is the problem like i know it's yeah. harsh but these t sides have just been terrible all tournament long yeah well, we can, I mean, again, we have the, the some of the ready-made excuses, right, of, of the, the lack of practice coming into this. I get, like, yeah, no definitely, time. but, like, you've got one of the world's best teams to change one player. I get it. It's the in-game leader. But, like, the others should be able to kind of pick up the, the extra weight there. Yeah. And, and work it out. Yeah, it's been like a huge fall from grace. <laughs> Right. Let's see what they can do. A set, I think just going for set pieces. If you ask me right now, let's just call set pieces out of spawn. Let's yeah. get clutch scenarios set up because these defaults, mid-round calls are not uh, their forte right now. It, it ain't working. 
And that smoke is so brutal as well. I don't think they can even uh, consider going. So what's the plan now? You're leaving A. Are you going to run back towards B? I don't think you have that time either. Like, you're, you're stuck in no man's land here. Nurse is definitely being dropped. Bit's got a, a freebie on Glaive. I don't think this is the sort of challenge he'll be winning. No, nope, oh certainly not. God, you just pre-fired it. That's sick. And then, now, now you've got to save. There's, you can't win this round. That was low-key a really cool second kill that Bit got there. Yeah, they're just completely out of time, unfortunately. There's a bomb in the middle with 14 seconds. Can't go anywhere. It's not going to be possible, so... 8-0. Yeah. Oh, you can see you can see him put, in some parts his movement. is He's trying to hold it in. The they rage. did say they that they like playing under pressure. So. <laughs> I think the pressure's already alleviated. I think we all know where this is going. I think the pressure's gone. The cave, maybe, and he can get Alexi B. He's going to swing on this. Oh, but he's so close. The Molotov lands behind him. He's ready to catch Glaive, and no more pressure on that side. Some shots. Okay, I kill. Okay. All right, we'll take it. You've got to go on this now, boys, though. Yeah, like right now, Spree is in. And bit, that's nearly a double. We're down to 25 hey, seconds. Okay, this is the best looking round we've seen yet, and it's a three versus three. Some pies is incredibly low. Molotov and towards default. His vision's been removed, but the Molotov's not quite deep enough. They might assume this is clear. Bombs are to go down. No, Madden, great shots in individual form. They might be onto something here. The first time in this half, they've got an advantage. A three versus two, but two players very low indeed. That's Madden and some pies. The flank's coming through, and it's Lexi B timing it perfectly. Takes down the danger man. Thrusted into the clutch. Deha. With the Galil in hand, they have no further utility. He kind of has to do it by himself because some Pius is so desperately low. He's got zero kills, Diha. He hasn't fragged anything so far in the half. That Here might be go. his opening right there, taking down Alexi. A wonderful on his own. He's got the kit, obviously, but very hard to find these two plays. He's looking deep in Donut to try and find some Pius. Finally going to be able to. It. And he's going to run straight for it. Surely you don't fake this. You yep. just hold it down and hope that Diha's rattled. Disappointing in recent memory for Ants. And that flashback, pretty meta. He's got so much time to find the frag. Imma doesn't quite connect to his glaive, though. To be fair, finding the opening picks, he might have been the best player of this half, to be honest, in terms of the end's performances. That's uh, trying to make a play through the smoke. Doesn't quite work out for him. They've got the man advantage, though. It's the final round of this first half. Four on three. Madam playing with some confidence here, and rightly so. Takes down JL. They can find two rounds on the board, or at least... Double their efforts they've got right now. Uh, that's that's the sad reality here. Yeah. So I just I really feel like just trying to to get a little bit of a spark at the end. I mean, you said it, they probably realized that this is not going to be working out, but it would be it'd be sad to see ends just just get blown out like this right at the end of it. Wonderful trying for a very tricky, if not almost impossible, clutch here. They're playing really far back. He's going to have a hard time finding all these players, but. Off. Here we go, Na'Vi now on the T side, and all they need is three rounds to lock it out. No, that's a beautiful shot to begin with. Emma, who was uh, highlighting the first half pistol, it's taken down right away. Jello, wonderful though, trying to bring it back a little bit. It's a three versus three now, and they've cleaved open the, the map here. They're right in the middle, they can do whatever they want. Yeah, a lot of work to be done still though. It's an awkward position to be in. You can see they're being surrounded by the CTs right now. Nerds holding towards Red Room, trying to lock them in. The problem is there's so much time available. Next move is going to be absolutely everything. This is a nice position, though. You might not necessarily check this portion of the cubby. Bit spotted him, though. They're going to wait, try and challenge him together. Nerds has done well. There's no trade from JL, and they've done it. I think that's enough to win the pistol, as Wonderful's only got 27 HP. The bomb planted, though, that's a masterstroke. The fact he's done that means they can force find the next round, and he actually might be able to win this, even with low HP. This guy has got some clutch potential. The X Factor... And if you can find a couple of headshots, you never know. But well, to anyone on yeah. the T side, hey. shot across the bow. Yeah, that AWP is out, and maybe they can get rid of Dihar once again. This time he's got the MP7 up on top, and a little bit distracted from the grenade. Maybe he thought there was going to be a flash to follow it up, but either way, that's going to get him killed. It's wonderful on the entry. Three versus five here. No, it's good little bullet tapping onto Alexi, but he's still going to go down, losing the fight. Five versus three. The bomb is going to be planted. And look at how deep they are on the map right now. The rest of Navi. It's going to be hard to even escape this bomb site and save the rifles. Good discipline from Wonderful as well. Understanding there's still an open play. Doesn't jump in towards Temple. Doesn't just take it. Doesn't take any risks here. And right now they're trying to get the absolute maximum out of this round. You can see this is discipline from Navi. Yeah. You've got JL watching the extremities. He'll go for a little hunt towards the end. Uh, if you can do some financial damage here, that would be great. But it's the first gun round and it will be 11 rounds on the board. Courtesy of Alexi B. Great shot towards that donor position. Speaking of great shots, there's another. JL, as mentioned, on the lurk right now. Gets the first of three. Some pious 
is the high value target. If they can find him. That would be fantastic in terms of dents in the economy, but it looks like they've done enough so to hold on to it. hoping for it a little bit here. Jail on the corner. Executes Deha trying to walk in. They're all there on the other side. I can't believe he lives. Why did he not die then? Oh, a missed shot from some players there. Glaive. Good in the middle. He's been playing a little bit better this time. Yeah, yeah Glaive actually looks like he, he's got a good understanding here on Ancient. Like he's, he's hit the shots. He's won most of his duels, yeah. to be honest with you. He can't poke too many holes in his, his individual form. That's not the reason that they've lost. Well, losing. No, it's to be challenged next. If you get at least one, that's fine. Keeps it a three on three. Now the pace is on. Some pies doesn't start hitting some shots. Now he's having to deliver. I thought he was going to get that I one. Was, I thought he did like get it. it. So I was trying to, why didn't that come through? It looked like he absolutely got it, but... Good flash. CTs might be able to shut this one down right here, right now. Wonderful drop. JL thrown into a two versus one. He can't convert it. And Well, we're transitioning over back to the A bomb site. JL with a bomb on his back. They've had success here. The one run they picked up so far was on that side. Wonderful. Bravely. Peaks and he gets another opportunity there. One he cannot convert. It's Dihel with the SMGs. I don't think I've seen him with a rifle yet. As oh, he holds right. towards Donut. He's just been playing with the MP9 or the MP7. Here we go. Down to 14 seconds. So they can't really delay and take these long fights. They have to go through. And it's just going to get decimated. Okay. Partial buy. As uh, we will see a mid take coming through. It's going to be somehow a double kill. Okay. With the Mac 10 Yeah. He just got overwhelmed. Overworked in the middle. The AK picked up by him. They're not going to be able to do anything there, unfortunately, for them. Glaive taken down. Jail. Nice shot with the Deagle. Two versus two. And there was a chance for a kill right there. Smoke's going to be going up, but there might have been just a slight... No, not really. Waiting for it, hoping to deny the bomb plant or at least do a little bit of damage. There's the Molotov on top, but the bomb still planted. Yeah. And the thing is, as well, JL knows he's up against the AWP, but some pious always one step ahead of his opposition. He knows their tendencies. He knows what's up their sleeve, and he's read it so well. Wow. Two versus one for bit. Possible to win it, but very unlikely. Yeah, they have smokes. They even have a Molotov, so they could throw it. They can, I think they just picked it up in transit, yeah, so... That's perfect incendiary. I think he knows. He might as well yeah. hold on to the deco. There's no way of winning this, unfortunately, now. Can you imagine how painful it would be to Navi if we end up playing a third map here? Oh, that's that's Emma in a very rough position. Take a lot of damage on route towards middle, but he has broken through. Some pies. He seems to be everywhere right now. Starting to hit some brutal shots. This is much more like it. Yeah, that's a good point to bring up. He's so mobile. They have no idea where they're going to run into him at the moment. This time he was in the Jaguar cave, but previous rounds he's been oh, the playing Navi's quite well. Towards CT spawn, he is just a very looser figure at the moment. JL going to be going down as top of everything else. It's five versus three. Bomb picked up now, recovered once again, but I can't believe what I'm seeing. Navi just, again, it's a 10 to two first half, right? So they, they were so close to winning it. And now all of that is in the past. Nice wall bang from Emma. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good. It's nice here, though. He ain't missing much right now, Anders. Another beautiful shot. Can't find the follow-up. No hat-trick found. Three versus two here. Glaive needs to be careful. Can't go down with nothing here. The bomb just get planted. The first bit of success from pretty senior for Na'Vi on their T-side campaign. Glaive in trouble, but sticks the landing. Oh, he's got to reload in the corner as well. That's going to be the kill for Wonderful. He knows. Oh, oh my god! He jumped oh. into the shot! <laughs> I no. can't believe it! He could have died right then and there, but he's recovered the AWP. And now he's looking for it. One versus one. Oh! He misses the chance. Nerds on the other side. Defuse it. He doesn't have the kit. It's a 10 second defuse. He's going to be running straight. No in. way. And now Tying things up. I can't believe we're saying that. Now the sun to show some confidence, some aggression. This is more like it. Caught off guard is Imma. He won't be getting that frag. And is they going to have the full reverse sweep here? It, that's what it feels like. That's what we're going at the moment. Glaive. Yeah, just keep the gun out. Don't think about throwing any nades right now. We're going to get double peek, but that is exactly what it feels like, Henry. I can't believe I'm saying it, but this could end up a 13-11 a almost type scoreline here. Now, V, they've disappeared in the second half. They've been disappeared by Hens, and most especially by Madden and Sun Pius here. Actually, Nurt's been playing really well, but he was from the start. He was kind of the only one of the first half that was doing anything. I think he had about 10 kills going into the second half, so... 
he was uh, playing quite well. Some Pires with some backup from Madden, and it's just a bit on his own. No bomb plant going to be possible here, I'm afraid. Swings just to take a little bit of a peek. Oh, maybe with the Molotov, he could. All right, that actually, I mean, whatever it takes, just... They have a loss bonus. They need the bomb plant. Yeah, you're right. They can just get the plant down. At least they'll have something to work in the follow-up round. Bomb goes down. He won't be winning this, that's for sure. But, uh, like we said... Nerds close to it here as Emma gets a bullet to the face. Wonderful send packing as well. They're actually going to take the lead. <laughs> Nerds, the master of mid. The legend here. continues. And he's got a five on three. Some pies is hitting this shot. JL. You see the gun barrel? I can't believe this. I don't think anyone can. This is so wild. Two deficit. This is unbelievable scenes. Finally, some pious misses a shot. A chance for an entry here with the MAC-10. You can see they're desperate here. Galil's barely any utility. As we do see him up, make his way through. I think Glade might have done enough here. Looking for the triple kill! And he's back, baby! The in-game leader might have just guaranteed Ancient. It was a 10-2 deficit. And now they've got a 4-2 lead on map points. How have they done this? How have Na'Vi let this slip away? That is going to be a huge topic of conversation. They had this one in the bag. It was what? supposed to be the gift for Wonderful's birthday. They were supposed to be easy celebrations. And now instead, it looks like they're going to be forced to play a third map. And with a revitalized end on top of everything else, Steve, have a nice... Wonderful. Just dueling him on the other side. A flashbang to try and set it. Another shot rings out, but no connection yet there. It's wonderful to begin with. And he does get taken down right away. Dihar's going to be finding Emma as well. Five or four versus three now. And they have still plenty of time. So there's a big problem for Na'Vi right now. They are stretched out across the map defensively. How did he even go here? Bit taking a huge risk. There is someone right above him, so if he wasn't going to be dead that way, he's probably going to be shot down somewhere else. Deha keeps it going. Beautiful round for him. Three kills. Alexi, I think it's anything he could do right now. He's just too far away. A T side pistol on Nuke. Elimination on the line. You've tilted the hell out of your opposition. They they fumbled that previously. Let's be honest. Like yeah, I think Maui Maui's got very good points in that desk, but that was more of a, a Navi loss than an Ents win. It felt like you it know what I mean. Was... Like there was, there was yeah, you can't even imagine a world. I think you, you ask ninety nine percent of people, they would say, "Yep, this one's over." We just saw they put down that T side. Lost for words, Anders. Like it's been one of the most confusing series. I've ever commentated I'm here for it. It's going to be up to Wonderful to try and salvage the situation. As he only finds that one kill, it's Clay with the MAC-10 that trades him out. That's going to be a trade you'll take all day long. Absolutely. The mobility of the MAC-10. Oh, it's nuts. He is a specialist with the MP7. He's one of the few people that will routinely pick it up and it's true. sometimes even over other rifles. He had plenty of money, right? If he wanted to buy an AK, he absolutely could have, but he is really strong with that weapon. <laughs> Three versus four. And another kill. Like you said, Diha started to get warmed up. He's eight and two right now. Well, now they've shaken off the bad vibes. You know, like they're looking like a different team. Dear God, what have I we witnessed? Like, I felt like they, they lost faith in their leader. And it looked like they were That's frustrated. That's what it looked like. Uh, yeah. Like we can only speculate, but the body language was saying it all. But now they've just got that map win and such a remarkable one. Like I said, historic comeback. I think that's fair to say. They, they look like the everything's changed. They're feeding themselves now. And Nuke is famously an end snap. Like, they, they thrive in the chaos of this one when they're under snappy leadership. As we get into a two versus one, Diha doing all the heavy lifting here. It sounds a bit, but... That things just change before we even get a chance. So, yeah, we are witnessing something really, really interesting right now with Ents that I don't think I've ever seen before. Some high is going to be taking down Alexi. And it's a four versus four. And they're down below with the bomb. They're ready. Looking for that 5-0 here. Bear in mind, they're up against... Just the pistols. They've got themselves down in towards lower. There is no CT presence there whatsoever. CTs with just one following smoke and no diffuse kits, of course. Wonderful without Kevlar. Just the highlights. The fact he'll be very squishy indeed. Some pious starts to negate the lower halls. 
exploring the options, making sure there's no presence down here. CTs now have rotated two players down. But it's a bit of a lurk. Great shot from Glaive. Like I said, he's back, baby. The individual form is looking much better. The Tito calling like so far this tournament, sure. Underwhelming, but this series, like in the, the way he's playing individually, like way higher than you, you might have expected, just given the context of uh, how Ents have been faring in this tournament. Seeing so many of these, but yeah, like this, this is this is baffling uh, to see this. And we see Wonderful trying to find the first round of the CT. Some pies having none of it though. Cracks open the upper bomb site, giving Nerd some open runway here. Can't convert the second kill. JL sets up the blockade. Splave with a little bit of space, so trying to thread the needle. Could still save the day here. Tucks himself in towards the ramp room. It would be a hell of a return if he could somehow find a couple of kills here. First one up for the baits, but it will be Bit that comes out on top. Yeah, certainly had the right idea. If there was going to be a way back into the round, it probably would have been Leave trying to get that one. But, um, all right, it's Madden. Good news for Na'Vi if they can win this round and survive with four people, but Madden's already trying to make it a little bit more expensive. Another kill here would be actually be devastating to Na'Vi, but... Right. It was a three versus one. He did so well to find the first two. Maybe I'm being a little unfair, but the, the, the missed orb shots were, were notable, is my point. They got a bit of a crossfire here, but it's a shallow one. Alexi gets one of the kills. He's going to fall back. Yeah, close that door behind you. Try and relocate. He must drop very, very low on health. 50 seconds for a four versus four. Are they really going to try and see if they can get out the vent? They need somebody to help them out. I guess they do have Nerts playing up here. So once the smoke fades, maybe he could be the man to try and get them up out of the vent. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Jail. He's actually very much alone, and he's overworked up here. Wonderful, just in time, showing up, and they don't even know about JL. They finally discover him, but it might be a little bit too late here. 25 seconds, the bomb only faked the one time there. Bit getting awfully close right now, and that should be the damage. I think they, they realize that someone's out here. They have the idea at any rate. Now they definitely know. It's Glaive again with a Mac 10 opening it up. Another rifle, Anders. All of a sudden, they've got the advantage and the firepower. Look at Madden just holding that vent forever. He's so sure that someone's going to be following him. But for the minute, nobody is. Every time they seem to be slow playing when they're in this position, I'd be interested to see if they want to change the pace at some point here and just sort of go for a quick bomb plant. But they are they are really slow playing some of these rounds. Bits. Powerful position if they're coming down the ramp. But if they're all around you, maybe not so much at range. Going to get... Traded on, and this is looking real good. The economy for Navi they hangs in the start. balance. And let, okay, wonderful going down is actually a massive issue, and everyone. But I'll keep it up. AWP this time for wonderful does best. Some pious a key jewel goes in Navi's favor. JL will find the second kill towards that upper bombsite hut. They've got a five versus three here. Last couple of rounds of this first half. A bit of a weird duel there. It looked like there was a, a second, and you know, before any one shot, both both wonderful and some pious. Maybe the Molotov fire just making it very hard to see anything through the scope. It's Glaive to try and bring it back. He looks for the double opening and it's not far off. He could have had that one. That might have been the bomb plant right then and there, but it'll be Navi instead. See, it's Ents that are on the precipice now of knocking out Navi at the tournament. I can't, can't believe I'm saying that. It looked like they were done. They were out. Navi had this one in the back, but they fumbled that bag. Game is wrecking them. He's 11 and 4. He gets the opening kill in the pistol round here. The second half. It's Ents now on the CT side. Looking to see if they can send Navi packing. Madden. Wherever we go, they die. It doesn't matter. And he gets the shot outside. Wonderful. It's his birthday. He's trying to fight his way back. He just wants to keep the dream alive. Two versus four on this one. The pistol is critical here for Navi. It's looking unlikely. It's not impossible here. Some oh, higher spin. Oh, Vee, I, if we get a loser's interview, I'd, lo I'd love to hear an XTB Sports on this. If they don't, of course, they haven't lost yet. But like, my mind is just whirring right now with what, how, this, how we got here. Yeah. What, I've, what happened? Well, some pious happened, question. I'll tell you that much. Some pious happened, but Glaive happened as well. He individually really has come alive in the last couple of halves here. It's been a different player. Good shot from uh, Alexi to take down Nerds. This is looking good. Navi answering back. I like this. You actually don't, obviously, you don't want to see Navi just get sent packing all of a sudden. It'd be nice to see them try to recover this and keep the dream alive. That's something that they've been struggling with in the past as well. 
They've had the same kind of body language issues, the same kind of stuff where you can sort of tell that they're just not feeling really good. And once the team collapses, it seems to be really hard to recover the mental on the Na'Vi side. So it'd be cool to see them try and see if they can follow in Ensis' footsteps here. Obviously, the round is done, but Dihar's trying to make it a little bit more expensive. Bombs and plants it, so no chance for Dihar to work. Doesn't Someone look. think about it. Someone consider going down. Doesn't look like his well, which will be now. granted. All right. 5-7 is out, he comes back, only Fury yes. now, it's a headshot, takes down him, no. picks up the AK, he keeps it going, nearly the triple, he's finally taken down, but that might be the difference here, the bomb is planted, but it's a 2 on 4 Henry, how could they dream of holding on to this one, grenade draining down, a devastating smoke inside of the squeaky door, d has gone down, but Glaive gets a shot, and now they're on the defuse, they got the kid as well, one more second, let oh me my God. find the shot, go they die, Oh, no. oh, we got oh, knives oh, coming out. Oh, jail is ready. Oh, oh, God. What the hell? Was it going for the knife or just trying to get down quickly? I think it's maybe a bit of both. Hoping to catch him on the ladder, perhaps. Possessed by the spirit of config in a moment, man. It's too much. Okay, well, that's the opening frag Narvi were looking for, desperate for. Glaive. Oh, it's actually quite a nice position, Anders. Bit, though, one step ahead of it. Continues to find the advantages here. One last line of defense, but the Spaniard can deliver on all fronts. He is in position. It's fit to continue that strong okay. individual form, and that, that's another round in the back. We're not done yet. Oh, we're definitely not done yet. And it, put, it puts a bit of a smile on my face seeing not just JL, but Bit as well. Having a, a pep in their step in this particular round. Not oh, going to be shut down. 11 to 7 going to be the scoreline after this one. Navi showing some signs of life. Oh, all right. A little bit of a ladder play coming out, but it's not going to be working out. The money will be a big question for ends going forward. That could easily be the deciding difference between how much of a chance they're going to have. We are one of the most entertaining series you're likely to ever see in CS2. And it's him up, cracking things wide open towards outside once again. Emphatic pace on bit here, applying pressure to some pious. Isolated in those locker rooms right now, but still more than willing to fight. One of the smartest, most cerebral players you'll ever see in Counter-Strike. Continuing to find unbelievable shots. And as I have no words again, what is that shot? What is that kill? It's supposed to be unbreakable. I have no idea. What are we witnessing? We're definitely no longer in reality. I can tell you that much. Two versus How four. How does he know? How does he read that? I don't that? know. He manifested that kill. He just wanted it. He just picked it out of nowhere. Absolutely wild scenes unfolding. Glaive's gone down. The bomb is planted. It's not done yet. The round is still on. Emma and Wonderful, they need to hold on. They can't let go of this one. Ence will be a map point, a series point. They got one foot in the grave already, Na'Vi. They didn't want to take another step in that direction. Emma, huge off angle. Very hard to no predict. Way. And they're going to get the kills. I can't believe it either. Man and, go and JL goes down. Remember, Ents just need a couple of rounds here. They line up. It's a missed shot for Sun Pius. A rare one. And like a follow up as well. I can't believe it. They actually could have been double. It could have been a two for one bit. We'll take him right. down just when they needed him. Wow. He was missing left and right on that one. First couple of misses he's had. Can Glaive pick up the pieces? No, he cannot. No real damage inflicted. He might be considering the save, but Nerds fancies his chances here. First kill. Very important to the context of the round, and yeah, I think that might be it. Holy hell. Tied things up. 11-11. Make a wish, Ents. Imagine if you if you did a round-for-round -round analysis of the T side of Navi versus the T side of Ents on this map. Every time Ents had an advantage, they slowed it down. Not that it was bad. It worked really well, but they slowed it down. Navi, on the other hand, as soon as they see a crack open, they just power through. There's no chance for Ents to really rotate or anything. It's down to the individuals. They're just running them down. So much to talk about. So much to break down. And we're going the distance. Ladies. Madden, he's thinking about it. He wants the defuse. He's got the kit. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Tries to run in there. He wanted to crack it open. I don't think it would have been possible, but he had the dream. And it's okay. They said at least we won overtime. Actually... At least we want to be able to fight for overtime. Diha goes down. He's been lights out, but we're putting his lights out on this one. 21 kills on him, but he's put away. A four versus five. I don't know. I, like, either way, 
five of these players coming out of this one, are, they're going to remember this game for a really, really long time. This is one of those games that you're going you're gonna to wake up in the middle of the night just thinking about every little thing you might have done wrong, every chance you had where you missed a shot, and that could have changed absolutely everything. That's, what, that's what's on the line right now more than anything else. Back and forth we go. And it's Na'Vi with the advantage here in round number 23, looking to post the first elimination point on Nuke after a huge deficit. They were 11 5 down at it. And here they are on the precipice. I've taken this round, no problem. Huge kill. Him up, looking to double down, can't quite do it. Blade will answer back. Great awareness once again from Beard. Perfectly timed drop down from main entrance. Some pious maybe can do something with this, Anders. There was a chance of a triple kill. No one was watching me. If he had an M4, maybe. But there it is. Guaranteed. Glaive will not be winning this round. I can tell you that much for free. It will be 12 to 11. Suddenly, Na'Vi with a one chance. One chance to close it out. To claim what should have been theirs on Ancient. Should have already been a victory. And now they have either that or overtime to play. Seven rounds in a row. T-side nuke. That's so impressive. What a wild run. Bit coming alive. The calls, and I think more than that, the follow-through. Every time they had an opening Na'Vi in the second. Ends from the tournament. Alexi B taking matters into his own hands. Does he want to push the smoke? Considering he has got a slight gap to work with there. Diha taking under 29 points of health. Double timeout. Ball before this round. The pacing. A little bit slower than what we've seen in previous rounds. Madden. Taking matters into his own hand, and it's wonderful. More than happy to oblige. I think they've done it, Anders. Three kills are found. Some Pius has dropped as well. And D Howard with 30 points of health. It would take something unbelievable, unfathomable, to think he can actually do something with this one. And they've done it. Na'Vi will be posting eight rounds in a row. Kicking Ents out of the tournament. As Diha fights for his life, surely there's nothing that can be done. Absolutely not. They know exactly where he is. They're going to go look at the bomb planted. Wonderful. Giving himself the best gift possible. Getting that double kill as they walk through. And Na'Vi, I can't believe they managed to mount the comeback themselves. What a wild game this has been. There's nothing Diha can do from the tie ground. He's in the kit. He's got nothing to work with here. No teammates left either. Na'Vi, it took everything...